What's going on everybody? This is Alex Kolakowski from Tiger Skull RPG. Today we're going to talk about optimizing your model for 3D printing um, and how I go about doing that to retain all, as much detail as I possibly can. Um, before I get started, uh, the music we're listening to today is uh, from poopaplanet.com. So what we have here is a figure, you know, I'm sitting at 43 million uh, points, which is a lot of points. You definitely can't send that to the, to the 3D printer. We're going to shoot for something like half a million, and I'm going to show you how to get there. <clears throat> so first things first, we, we really need all these, uh, all these sub tools I have. I've got, you know, who knows how many of them. Uh, we need to get it all into one piece. Real, real simple. Your machine should be able to handle this. My machine is, uh, you know, roughly nine years old, so you should be able to merge your sub tools into one, uh, into one layer using the merge visible button there, because um, we need to get this into one solid cohesive piece. Now, the end goal is to decimate this down, but before you do that, I highly recommend. I mean, you really have to decim uh, sorry, uh, dynamesh this thing. And uh, the reason is because Decimation Master is gonna recognize the different parts and it's gonna try to retain those. It's gonna sort of decimate a percentage based on the resolution of those parts. So you're gonna get a weird distribution of resolution if you don't. Uh, dynamesh it all is one piece. Get a consistent, uh, consistent uh, uh, density, right? So the first thing I always do, you saw me here, I, I turn the resolution right down because you never really, until you do this, you don't know what the scale of your scene is. And if you go too high, if you start too high, you're just gonna, it's gonna spend, take a lot of time, it could crash your machine. So I just like to see where I'm at, I just turn it down, do a real quick one. And this is great. I mean, you wanna, it's good that it's low like this because that means I can dial it up. So you wanna just incrementally dial this, this bar up until you found, until you've really gotten the maximum you get. I, usually I find for, for my specs, I'm getting like around in the 3 million range is where I can push that to. And that, like for me, that was a resolution of 820, uh, 824. And that was, that brought me here. It was a very uh, clean uh, uh, Dynamesh. You know, I also, I, I'll show you an example. Of, you know, when I went too far, I pushed it to 952 and look at the mesh here. It's like, you know, it's starting to, slice up and have some crazy artifacts here so that's when you know you've gone a little bit too far so maybe a good idea hit that point and then just back it off a little bit so here we are 824 we're uh, ready to uh, do our decimation pass so up here in z plugin we've got the decimation master it's just you know one in the list here uh, open that up there's tools for you know this is kind of a trial and error sort of tool i don't really i stopped using that i really i like to come down here i know exactly what i want i want 550 uh, points and uh, then just hit the custom button and that'll take about you know two minutes or so depending on your specs again your processor and that'll give you something like this so here we go 549 uh thousand points and if I switch back to where we just were let's turn the uh, let's turn the uh, paintbrush off and you can see that you know the figure is pretty much the same as I switch back and forth here <clears throat> um, yeah so this is it this is where you're at you can you can start to work with this you know throw your base on here or just print it as is uh, yeah this this resolution will print fine uh, I just want to talk about one more thing, like maybe sometimes what I'll do is there'll be a piece on the model that I feel like I really want to push it and, and I want it to be the focal point and I want to have a little bit more resolution. So what I would do is just repeat this process but on individual parts. Um, so I, I did kind of set that up. What I did was um, in this other uh, sub-tool scene here. I've got, I, I wanted to focus on my sword, so, you know, I just dynamesh that separately. You know, I was able to push it up to like 2000 resolution and uh, then decimated that down to 150,000 uh, points and, and the resolution was really clear. And, uh, and then I just followed the same process we had just done with the body without the sword. So in this example, yeah, I'm really trying to uh, just push the resolution of this sword. And the total points is a little bit higher, but that's okay. It's still still below our range. Um, and then 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a, a live boolean merge, but before you can do that, I don't know why. I think sometimes it's just the odd triangle that after you decimate is just wonky, just makes a hole. So I always come to modify topology and just do a quick close holes on the mesh. So really quick operation, just close your holes before you do a live boolean from a dynamic or a, a decimated mesh uh, because sometimes it'll create an error if there's a tiny little hole. So always do that. Uh, it should take, uh, so, you know, you get your live booleans on. I, I will set up my, I link my layers here, come down to boolean once again, and just do a make live boolean. It'll take, I don't know, a few seconds. It's really pretty quick. Um, you should be able to get through this whole process in under half an hour. Um, here we go. So this is it, yeah. Again, our points are a little bit higher than before, but that's okay. We left some room, and now our sword is really crisp um, in comparison to the rest of the model here. So it can really be the focal point. Maybe you want to do that with the helmet. I've done that with like the hair on my models before, just to really maintain uh, a next level sharpness on those. So that's it. I hope that helped you guys get your models to the printer. Um, you know. Yeah, let me know if you if you if this worked for you. If you have other ideas, uh, drop me a message in the comment. I'd be you know happy to check that out and chat about it. Thanks so much. If if you want to try and um, you know print this guy for yourself, you can find him on TigerSkullRPG.com. This is the disciple of puppets, and um, yeah, see you around. Thanks, guys.